Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another nail video for you guys. I am working on Rosie today by Poochie's Nails, her realistic practice hand that I'm going to be using for the first time ever. So it's kind of like a first impression I guess as well but it's the Mia Secret Sweet Collection and I'm using this pink one which is called My Heart and it's, guys, I wish I could show you, well sorry, let me just, I'm using these glitters and I'm also using Mia Secret Cover Pink. <laughs> nearly didn't get all that out but look 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 at the glittery shimmeriness and these freaking colors they are so amazing i will leave a link so you guys can see how beautiful well you can't see how beautiful they are but you can go buy them if you want there's another video coming very soon of a couple more colors from this collection and i'm going to do a few more videos with the colors in this collection but these colors are like shh it's hard to explain. They have like tiny speckles of glitter in. They're like really shimmery slash glittery. It's really hard to explain and it doesn't come across on camera, basically is what I was trying to say earlier. I have to speak so fast because I don't leave myself enough time to introduce everything. I'm really sorry. But I'm going in here with the cover pink and I'm just making a smile line. So this nail is going to be a smile line and this is with the cover pink. So I will let you guys watch me make my smile line. So I need to leave that to dry before I can file it. So I'm now going in on the pinky finger and I'm using that shimmery pink that I was telling you guys about. And it is so beautiful. I was so excited when I started using these. If you were with me, by the way, this was a live video. You can catch the live footage, literally raw, unedited, completely live over on my second channel, which is my live channel, SJTV Live, and that is, I'll leave a link somewhere for you guys. I'm sure I can leave one on the screen somewhere, so it might be popping up around about now. If not, then, um, I it's definitely in the description. It's always, always in the description. So go check that out. Make sure that you are subscribed because that is where you will catch the live feeds of me doing nails. But yeah, this was so sparkly. I, was, I wasn't expect. I thought they were just going to be a little bit shimmery. But they're super, super sparkly. And uh, I'm just in love. This is just a full nail of that beautiful pink. And then this again is a full nail of that pink and then we are going to pop a little decal on afterwards. But acrylic wise it's just all that pink. So now that that smile line is all nice and dry, I'm going to come in and file it just to, just basically to refine the edges a little bit and try and make it as perfect as I can before I go in with the glitter because this is going to have a glitter tip and it's going to be a glitter ombre using both of those two glitters that I showed you earlier. So I'm starting off with the more purpley glitter. Unfortunately these glitters don't have names. I am hoping to get them for my website and I will name them but at this point in time they don't have like names to them so it makes it kind of difficult when doing these videos but I guess you guys are just going to have to look and see and yeah that's the best I can do. It's a silver it purpley one and I'm just going around the edge of the smile line with this and then I'm going to come in with the second one and ombre that towards the tip.
As you can see, when I'm using these glitters, I'm mixing them with my Mia Secret Clear. So dip in the clear and then dip in the glitter and it just works like a charm. This nail here is going to be similar to the other one but without the smile line. So it's going to be another glitter ombre but a full nail glitter ombre. And again, starting with the purpley and silver glitter and then fading that and blending that up with the other more pinky glitter. I think this might be my favourite nail. I just love that glitter like ombre. It's so pretty. These nails were inspired by a set that someone had posted onto one of my Facebook pages. I asked for like inspiration of a set of nails I could do and it's nowhere near like exactly the same but I like to take inspiration and like kind of mix it up a bit. So now this one is really difficult for me to show you because I'm wiping up quite a lot. So as you can see, I've had to skip quite a bit out because basically all you could see was my hand. Very annoying, but I'm basically just taking the clear and I'm just capping the nails now. So you've seen this, this done a million times. Some people don't even bother keeping these in their videos, which I can totally understand because it's kind of samey same But yeah, I've kept in as much as I can without me like getting my big fat hand in the way or without it being like totally out of focus. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I'm capping this nail and then I'm gonna go cap the other glitter nail. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna basically cap all the nails and then I'll be back. So before I cap the final nail, we are actually going to put a decal on. Now, a lot of people would put the decal over like the, the finished nail. I decided to do it this way and I've just taken a little bit of my Mia Secret glue and popped the decal onto the, just straight onto the acrylic and then I'm going to cap the nail. This can take away some of the, like the colour and also the, like the, what's the, like the, what is the word I'm thinking of? Guys, come on. Detail. I knew it began with a D. Hm. This can kind of take away the detail. I think it's because the monomer can kind of melt like the, the decal a little bit. But I don't mind doing it this way. Most people would probably just finish the nails, file them, buff them, top coat them, and then put the decal on, and then top coat again. But I decided to encapsulate it. I've done this previously. I've done this a few times now, and it does work. It just kind of, yeah, takes away the detailing a little bit. But, you know, it's how I roll at the moment. Maybe next time I'll try it over the top, though. Hmm.
Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in and just file all of the nails, shape them, smooth them over, make sure that they're all perfect, well, as perfect as I can get them. And then I'm going to go over with a buffing block. And I also like to go over with a little bit of acetone just to get rid of any dust and also smooth out the nail a little bit. Once I've done that, I'm going to come in with my Colour Couture top coat and I'm just going to top coat all these nails and look how pretty and shimmery it is oh my days honestly these acrylic powders are so shimmery <gasps> I wish it came off more on camera you can kind of see it a little bit but it looks so much better in real person <laughs> real person in real life you know what I'm saying and there is that glitter nail she's so pretty she's so pretty I love glitter and I love top coat and glitter it's just so amazing so yeah I'm gonna top coat all the nails I'm gonna cure them and then wipe off that tap that tack free sticky layer wait what <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off a sticky layer you knew what I meant right And this is the end result, you guys. Let me know what you think down below. I really like the glitter. I am loving the glitter. This is one of my favourite sets that I've done in a while. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Leave me all your comments down below because I love hearing from you guys. You are all amazing. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and also the bell button. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.